2022 has been a great year when it comes to satellite launches and space missions. 2022 surpassed a record number of orbital launches ever, with 178 successful launches. From crew missions to satellite launches, it was full of groundbreaking space missions that captured worldwide attention. We witnessed the launch of the James Webb Telescope, Inspiration4 mission, DART mission, and many more. We also received incredible images from Mars rover, Perseverance, and its helicopter Ingenuity. But it is getting more exciting as it comes to 2023. The moon will be a busy place in 2023. A lot of space agencies plan to send orbiters, rover missions to the moon. As NASA is planning to send humans back to the moon by 2024, it'll be sending several unmanned missions to the moon this year. But wait, there's more on the menu. Private space travel, deep space missions, Jupiter's moon tour, asteroid landing, sample return, and much more. Here are some of the best missions you'll witness in the year 2023. Jupiter Icy Moon Explorer, or shortly called JUICE, is the first large class mission from European Space Agency's Cosmic Vision 2015 to 2025 programs. The mission will make detailed observation of the gas giant planet and its three large ocean-bearing moons, that is Ganymede, Callisto, and Europa. The mission is set to be launched in April of 2023 from French Guinea in Ariane 5 rocket. It will spend seven years traveling through space using gravity assists from Venus and Earth. In 2031, after seven and a half years after launch and four gravity assists, JUICE will finally reach Jupiter. When it arrives, JUICE will perform a flyby of Ganymede and within eight hours of the flyby, JUICE is scheduled to enter orbit of Jupiter. The first flyby of Europa will take place in July of 2032. It will enter a high inclination orbit Orbit to allow exploration of Jupiter's polar regions and Jupiter's magnetosphere. Later in December 2034, JUICE will enter an elliptical orbit around Ganymede. Once it's done with collecting scientific data, JUICE is planned to enter orbit and impact Ganymede at the end of 2035. The next breathtaking mission in 2023 will be NASA's Psyche mission. Deep below Earth's rocky crust and vicious mantle lies a metal core. We don't know much about the core, which leaves a gap in our understanding of how a terrestrial planet like Earth forms. The Psyche mission might just fill that void of knowledge. Set to launch in October of 2023, the NASA orbiter will travel 186 million miles to metal-rich asteroids called Psyche, which astronomers suspect may be the exposed core of an early planet, giving us our our first direct look at what may lie beneath Earth's rocky surface. NASA believes that Psyche offers a unique window into the violet history of collisions and assertion that created terrestrial planets. Psyche mission will be the first type to examine a world made not of rock or ice, but of metal. The spacecraft will have a magnometer, multispectral imager, X-band gravity meter, and gamma-ray neutron spectrometer. The asteroid itself is 225 kilometers wide and has never been visited. The mission was initially planned to launch in 2022, but was later delayed to 2023 due to a software issue. The next mission we will witness in 2023 is ARIS, the first Australian-made rocket into orbit. After the successful launch of ARIS, Australia will be just the 12th nation in the world to reach space using a rocket built within the country. It will also make ARIS the first rock to fly under the power of the hybrid engine, one in which the fuel and oxidizer are different states of matter. This could potentially open the door to safe and cheaper space flights in the future. There are three stages in ARIS. While the first and second stages are powered by a hybrid engine, the third stage is powered by newly created liquid rocket engine called Phoenix. It was designed and manufactured with 3D printing in Australia. Well, the mission is only designed as a technology demonstration for launching small satellites into lower Earth orbit, but a successful launch means it could open doors to safe and cheaper spaceflight in the future. 2023 will also see India's second attempt to land on the moon after its first mission ended with the crash landing on the moon in 2019. India's Chandrayaan-2 mission crashed on the moon's southern hemisphere in 2019. Indian Space Research Organization, also called ISRO's Chandrayaan-3, will be India's third mission to the moon and second to land on the moon, as the first one was only an orbiter. Chandrayaan-3 will not have orbiter, but only a lander and a rover. Its propulsion module will act as a communication relay satellite, which normally would have been a orbiter. Scheduled to launch between June 2023, the lander will only have four throttle-able engines and is equipped with laser Doppler velocimeters. The lander is equipped to measure thermal conductivity, seismic activity, and measure plasma density. 
This mission will play a part for preparation for India's maiden manned mission into space expected to launch December of 2024. Whether or not the Chandrayaan-3 will be a successful mission, unlike Chandrayaan-2, is yet to be seen. But pressure is on ISRO. Well, we can at least wish good luck to ISRO to have a successful mission. The next mission you shouldn't miss out on in 2023 is NASA's OSIRIS-REx mission. The goal of the mission is to collect 2.1 ounces of the sample from the asteroid Bennu and return it to Earth. The mission was launched in 2016 and set to return to Earth in 2023. Spacecraft traveled two years in space and reached Bennu in 2018. Like the footprints on the moon, OSIRIS-REx mission left its mark on the asteroid Bennu. The spacecraft remained in the vicinity of Bennu until the departure on May 10th, when the mission began its two-year cruise back to Earth. As it approaches Earth, the spacecraft will release the sample return capsule that contains the sample from Bennu. The capsule will then travel through the Earth's atmosphere and land under parachutes at the Utah Test and Training Range on September 24, 2023. In late 2023, China's first large telescope is expected to start scientific operation. The Chinese Survey Space Telescope, also known as Shutian Space Telescope, is a space-based optical observatory for astronomers to carry out our surveys and capture a general map of the sky. The mission will last for 10 years, which could be extended in principle. It has an aperture of 2 meters and weighs more than 10 tons, somewhat equal to a three-story building. The telescope will be able to dock with China's almost completed space station and will report reportedly have a view 300 times wider than NASA's iconic Hubble Space Telescope. With the massive field of view, it will be able to survey around 40% of the sky during its 10 years of operation. The next flagship is from Russia, Russia's first lunar moon mission since 1976. The country is now finally preparing to launch its next moon mission, Luna 25, in July of this year. If all goes to plan, the mission will be launched aboard Soyuz 21B Fregret rocket from Vestaki Cosmodrome and will land at Boguslavsky Crater near Moon's South Pole. It will then study the lunar regolith and exposure in the region. The lander will feature a 66-pound payload composed of nine national space instruments. The lunar South Pole has been a target for Russia, the United States, and China due to the fact that ice reserves at the location could provide water and oxygen for future lunar habitats. The next mission in our list is SpaceX's Starship Orbital Maiden Flight. SpaceX is developing the Starship to carry people and cargo to the Moon and Mars. The giant rocket consists of two elements, both of which are designed to be reusable. Made up of two stages, Starship is planned to be used for satellite deployment, space tourism, and interplanetary space flights. The Starship is planned to be launched from Starbase Texas and land in the Pacific Ocean. SpaceX has hinted that its Starship could launch in late February. Whether or not the mission will be successful is yet to be seen, but if it is, then that'll be a massive breakthrough for humans to travel to space. It'll not only reduce the cost of flight by using reusable materials, but also carry huge payloads off to space. This video was sponsored by people like you. Your comments and shares enable us to keep these videos free for everyone. We hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this in the future, and don't hesitate to leave any comments or questions down below. We're always happy to hear from you. If you love what we do here at Astrophy, please subscribe to us and hit that bell icon to be notified about our new videos. Thank you for watching this video, and we will see you in the next video.